I hope the shot's alright. Um, and the lighting. Probably should check it, but who can be bothered? Who has time for that? Ooh, bye bye pen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am again at my dad's in my bedroom this time. I'm going to be doing a 2017 resolutions, goals, things I will be trying to do and how I will be trying to stay organized keep track of things and get stuff done. So I've written down my main goals and things in here. I do have a couple that I haven't written down because they're not really the ones that you write down, they're just ones I need to just remember, I don't really know. I feel like there's a good chance that you should potentially write everything down, but I've just got a couple I haven't. Let's get into it. My first New Year's resolution or goal whichever word you like to use, I'm probably just going to use them both, is to keep my room clean and keep the area where I study clean and neat and tidy. I'm going to do this by trying to pick up things every week and keep it all organised, keep things filed away. My room generally isn't too hard as long as I don't have clothes everywhere. It's not even just picking out clothes, it's if I go somewhere and then I get back and I just don't unpack, it just sits on the floor. And also dirty clothes. I mean just having a look now there's about five outfits that really should be in the laundry at the moment but they're not they're on my floor so you know try not to do that and my study in particular is really bad because I just can't keep it neat I have to actually tidy it in the first place before there's any like keeping that can go on because it's currently a mess from the end of last year when I pretty much dumped everything in it and said, right, exam's over, I'm not going in here for ages. And so I've just left it messy. So I need to clean that up first and then continue to keep it clean. My next one is to slow down when I talk. And I'm not good at it. Even in this video, when I'm literally talking about it and it's conscious, I talk fast. That's how I talk, it's how I've always spoken, everyone notices it. It's just what I do. And one of, so my goal is to just slow down and think about things before I say them and think of how to phrase things and not hurt people's feelings and also try to cut out all the words like um and like and those other words that are just filler words that you use when you are speaking faster than you're thinking. My next 2017 goal is to practice kindness a lot more and react slower to things or think about my reaction to things more. Instead of just getting mad, just take a step back and deep breath and just practice kindness and just the golden rule of do to others what you want done to you, things like that. I also want to get into exercising. I know this is everyone's goal pretty much and it falls over by about day three. It was day five for me when it kind of died. Day four even. Day four. I'm not doing very well so far. But I've tried to. I've decided that I'm going to start doing two days on and two days off of exercise and things like that. So yesterday I did nothing except if you count like walking to my friend's house and then walking home, which I mean technically I don't think should. So I've started to just Google or YouTube workouts and things like that that you can just do at home with no equipment, body weight exercises, and I find them really fun. I also want to get into running and stuff and I don't know if you saw the look of dread that just came across my face when I thought of the word running. I'm not a runner, I just don't see the point, I don't love it, but I know there are a lot of benefits from it and I really feel like I should get into it and it would be good for me and if I can actually get into it and get into a routine I'll probably start to like it or if not I'll just keep trying and eventually give up because I just hate it and at least I can say I had a go. Another resolution I have is to get myself on a semi-decent sleeping schedule type thing. I don't really know the exact words, but I'd, like sleep patterns, I guess. I have the worst sleep patterns. I will just kind of go to bed when I feel like it and get up when I feel like it at the moment, which being my technically last Christmas holidays of high school, I don't think it's a terrible thing, but especially once school goes back, I need to get into a pattern of, even on weekends and holidays and things like that, going to bed at a reasonable time and getting up, you know, before 8, 30, 9, 30, 10, 30, 11. I'm a night owl, I like staying up late and sleeping in, but I really want to be able to 
make more out of my mornings and sleep through the night, if that makes sense. Sleep from like 1am till 9.30am. I'd rather sleep from 9.30 till 6 or something in the morning. That's the one that I'm not really sure is realistic for me, but it's something that I have to make. My next one is to write. Writing is one of my favourite ways to get out my feelings, I suppose. It's one of the greatest ways I express myself. I don't really know if I'm a good writer. I mean, I don't really show myself to people, but I generally understand it and I have a lot of ideas. I'm definitely one of those people who will think of an idea and write it down and get started and then about two pages in I have another idea and I go, I jump ship and I get to my next idea and then two pages in and jump ship again and that's kind of how I work and so within the writing goal I really want to actually get, choose a project, get it going through to not necessarily completion but a good way through or at least a point where if I do eventually put it down I want to be able to come back to it and know exactly what's going on and be really inspired to pick it back up again. The other thing I want to do is start effectively scheduling my time. This is definitely more so for when school comes back because I'm going to have a much heavier workload I think and I'm going to need to be really effective and just know what I'm doing with my time. So I want to be able to schedule my time and in that schedule out exercise, schedule out sleeping, schedule out time for hobbies and activities and other commitments that I have. But I just want to really get on a schedule and stick to it, find one that works for me because last year I tried, I did a whole schedule and everything, I was happy with it and literally the day after I made it I looked at it and said yeah that's not going to happen and just left it and so I just have copies of it hanging around somewhere. Another one is kind of... People might think it's a little weird or gross, but to brush my teeth every single day, twice a day, no exception. I think that we've all had those days where either you wake up at midday and just eat, don't you just don't end up eating breakfast because it's suddenly it's lunch and you just don't get around to doing it. All those days where you get home and you're so tired and all you can do is just get a makeup wipe and just kind of bleh, and then just fall into bed. I always take my makeup off so that's not a worry for me but it's if it's between taking my makeup off or brushing my teeth I'm just gonna skip teeth brushing it's just really bad but so my goal is to always brush my teeth every day twice a day and I have done that so far so I'm happy with that and my final one is to try and keep up a social life throughout grade 12 and my final goal for 2017 is related to school and my grades. I want to get as many good grades as I can and be proud of what I do. I just want to be able to walk, like, I just want to be able to leave grade 12 and step out of my final exam knowing that whatever grades I get or have already gotten, whatever final result I get, whatever uni course, I want to be proud of myself and know that I have tried my best and given everything to grade 12. And it's the year that you just need to focus and knuckle down and get things done. So that is my final goal and it is partly to do with the grades but it's actually a lot to do with the grades because they are important, your grade 12 marks, particularly depending on what field you want to go into. So for what I want to do, I do need good grades, I do need a relatively high overall result and I just want to be able to open up that result and know that whatever I did, whether it's a good result or not, that I did try my best and that I was focused and motivated. And I think that this one will be probably the hardest one because it takes a lot of self-motivation and a lot of focus and a lot of determination throughout the year. The other ones are more exact things that I could do and just, I don't even know how to describe it but this is the one that just, I know that will be the hardest because this is the one that has the most, I suppose, conflict or something fighting back at it because everything else is really internal and it's about me and it's about things like that but school is the one thing that can wear me down like nothing else and I can get so unmotivated and so sick of it 
and so I just need to make sure that I just try my best and that I can finish grade 12 with the best results that I could have gotten. So those are all of my 2017 goals or resolutions, whatever you'd like to call them. I have got them written down in here in a place where I will hopefully see them often and think about them. If you ever wonder, I can always just open it up again and remember what they are. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas or, I don't know, for yourself. Comment down below what's a New Year's resolution that you have previously failed and are trying again on and what's something that you have never tried and are trying or something that you tried and realised was a ridiculous idea and give up on. If you guys have any requests, videos you want to see, let me know. I think that probably in the next couple of weeks I'll be doing back to school shopping so I'll do a haul and show you what I'm taking into grade 12. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you all had an awesome day and enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up and give me comments down below, I love comments. And also subscribe, I will see you all next time, 